Hi guys, this is Solomon here. Um, so I'm actually currently creating a new Laravel application for a client. And so as I am creating this application, I thought, hey, why don't I start a tutorial series of, you know, some cool things or uh, component, cool components or unknown components that I can teach about Laravel. Um, so what I'm actually working on today or what I want to show today is how you can back up your database using the uh, the Artisan CLI provided by Laravel. Um, so yeah, so the library that I'm gonna be using today is called the Spady uh, Database Dumper. Uh, it allows you to uh, dump, or it allows you to dump, yeah, it allows you to dump your database. So what we're gonna do is we're going to simulate on how, uh, we're gonna not simulate, but we're gonna create a command that uh, backs up the database and then we're going to save uh, that SQL file within our root directory of Laravel, of the Laravel application. So, all right. So I have a fresh build of Laravel. So if I open up PHP Storm real quick, uh, you can see everything. It's looking pretty fresh. Um, I just uh, created it today. So what we're going to do, what, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the uh, Laravel command uh, to back up the database. So if you if you're unfamiliar with um, the Laravel uh, CLI, uh, you can just do PHP artisan help within your Laravel application. Uh, I forgot I'm on a, I'm on an external drive, so it's going to be a bit laggy for me. Um, so this is just kind of a, a brief, uh, a brief tutorial of how you can work with the artisan console. Uh, so I already know how to work with it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do PHP artisan make command and you, so this is the first thing you do, and then you're going to pass in the parameter of the name of the command. So we're going to call this back up database command. All right. So if we open up PHP storm, um, and go to console and commands, we can see, here we go. Uh, here is the um, backup database command. So the basic structure of how the artisan commands work is you have the signature, which is just a name of your command. You have the description of what your command does. Uh, you have the, con the constructor, which just calls in the parent. And then you have the handle function, which is where you run uh, all of your main code for this command. Uh, so yeah, so now that we have the command, now we're going to have to import the um, import the library, not uh, library, the package uh, that allows us to uh, back up our database. So like I said, it's called the Spady uh, database dumper. So we're gonna do composer required Spady slash DB dash uh, dumper. Um, so this is just going to bring in the package into our uh, composer.json and our vendor file or vendor, vendor folder so that we can use the package. Um, my Since I'm on an external drive, it's very, very laggy when it comes to uh, just running stuff in general. So I'm going to pause this for a second as this, uh, as this downloads. All right, so that has successfully downloaded. So if we go to our PHP Storm, PHP Storm, um, and we go to Vendor, Spady, and we can see the DB dumper over here. So that has downloaded successfully. So now we're going to uh, begin uh, making our command. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rename our command, and we'll call this back up database. Oh, looks like we're lagging again. And we'll add a description. This backs up the oh my God. database. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a, um, a file. And this file is going to be called file, not HTTP, but we're going to get it from our facades, file 
put uh, so this is just going to initialize or create our file and we're going to call this dump SQL you can name it anything you want um, we're just going and we're going to put nothing in there for right now we're just initializing the file so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, cr create the MySQL um, connection to it's going to create the connection and then it's going to uh, make a dump file so what we're going to do is we're going to do MySQL from the Spady, as you can see, the Spady DB Dumper databases. MySQL create, uh, enter. We're going to set a database name. So we can get, we can, you can either use the config um, helper function or you can use env. I'm just going to use env for right now. Uh, DB uh, database. Oh, that doesn't look right. We're going to go to our ENV real quick. Uh, so this is Macon. This is Root. And this is Silken. So this is on my local host, my XAMPP. Real quick. So there we go. Just fix that. Uh, set username, which is just ENV. Get the username of the uh, database person. So that's going to be Root. Uh, then we're going to set the password. env db password and then we're going to get the host and we're going to get the po uh, port so the host is env db host and then lastly we'll get the set port all right env db port all right so Next, we're going to um, dump the file to, um, we're going to dump the data into our dump.sql file. So how we do that is we're going to do uh, arrow dump to file, and we're going to go to, not storage path, but we're going to go to um, base path, we'll call this base path. And we're going to get the dump.sql. So that's going to, um, so what it's doing is it's just getting the, initializing the database and connecting to the database, then we're getting the data, uh, then we're getting the actual contents of the database, then we're dumping that to our dump.sql file. Uh, so that's how that's working. So do that. And so um, that's really it for right now. Uh, but usually what I do is, so I don't like having it on my uh, staging server, uh, not my staging server, but in my root directory. What I usually do is I usually send it to like Amazon S3. Um, um, but for right now, I'm not gonna do that. I will link a, a little article where I can where you can actually send it to your S3 bucket and without having to worry about, you know, the potential of somebody uh, getting that dump.sql file. So, yeah. So we're going to actually test this out. And to do that, first, we're going to have to go to our kernel and we're going to have to register our command. Backup database command class. And then we're going to run PHP artisan back up database. So MySQL dump is not recognized as an internal or external command. Uh, oh, okay, so I forgot I'm actually on Windows. And so, um, yeah, generally does not work on Windows. So if you have a Mac or if you have a Linux machine, this will work, um, but I'm actually going to have to uh, SSH into my Linux machine and try to test that out. Uh, so just give me a moment and I will do that real quick. All right, so I think I figured out the error and why um, it wasn't working for me. So what I had to do was I had to go to um, my environmental variables and I had to set uh, the path, uh, you know, where your MySQL um, 
where your MySQL program file is. I had to set that path into my uh, system variables so that I could use the MySQL and MySQL dump uh, uh, commands. So now that, so if I want to test it out real quick, so I'm going to delete this dump.sql um, real quick, and I'm going to run that command again. So PHP artisan backup database. Oh, that's a small screen. So we're going to zoom in real quick and then we're going to run it. All right. So we're going to go to PHP storm again and we're going to dump, go to dump.sql. And as you can see, it had dumped in some data for us. So right now my database has no data right now. So that's why it looks pretty minuscule. But if you have some data data in your database and you run this command, it should work perfectly. So yeah. So that's kind of how you work with uh that's how you work with or create a backup database command in Laravel. Um if you guys have questions uh, or comments, just you know put them into the comment section. Um if you you guys find any bugs, just let me know and I'll try to uh, help you out. Um uh, but yeah, so you this is just the first part of the tutorial series, uh, and I will be posting more within these uh, upcoming weeks. Awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye.